Hi guys, it's Moz here for Moz 6510 Models and on the workbench today I have this Revel model kit catalogue from 1974. If you've not been on this channel before, basically I go to my catalogue stash and I pick out a vintage catalogue and I film it page by page. So you can see what this particular manufacturer was putting out there back in the day. So this one here, Revel model kit catalogue 1974, I try to film it in the best quality possible in high definition. So to get that, go to the COG, Click quality and select 1080p. If you think I'm turning the pages too quickly, you can slow the video down by clicking the playback speed in the cog settings and selecting 0.5 or 0.25. Obviously, you can press pause at any time and then press play when you're finished looking at the page. Only 10% of the people who watch this channel are subscribers and it would really help the channel. If you could please just click that subscribe button and if you want to be notified on any of these new videos that I put out there, just click the bell. And remember to subscribe to this channel is absolutely free. So let's get into it. This is the Revel Model Kit Catalogue from 1974. Enjoy.
a lot of difference in last year's catalogue and there won't be much difference in the next year's catalogue because Revel were basically treading water around this sort of time. And if you look at the other videos that I've done, you will see that a lot of the models there, there's not been much change. So we go through the catalogue. By the way, don't get me wrong, this is a nice catalogue. I'm going to have to adjust the camera angle for this so you can see the pages. As you can see, it is quite a big catalogue. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> at the start, basically, they've got a lovely picture there of some roundels. And it's showing you there, you've got England, or Great Britain, I should say, America, Germany, Japan. Then you've got some spoke wheels, which are like, I think they're Formula One wheels. Then you've got the propellers, and then you've got the ship's wheel. So starting off, I'll tell you what I'll do is, I'll do them like this. So we do like page at a time. Okay, so you've got the 1 to 32 scale aircraft that they had. They had the Harrier jump jet, quite a popular one in this scale. Quite a few people have done this one in 132 scale. The Martlet 5. Hawker Typhoon, the Havilland Mosquito, and the RAF Razorback, all in 1 to 32 scale from Revel. Again, Malcolm Hood, the Super Moon Spitfire Mark 1. There's loads here in that 1 to 32 scale. The bow, the bow fighter there, oh, crumbs, that's going to be a hell of a kit, isn't it? If you're going to do that in 1 to 32 scale. Looks like that one hasn't been released yet. I think that must be one that's going to be released because they haven't got it as a model. They've only got it as a... As a as uh, as a box art keep going on through lots of 1 to 32 scale some lovely pictures in this catalog isn't there so there's 1 to 32 again moving on through there's the corsair 1 to 32 scale mustang the lightning all in 1 to 32 scale there's the grumman wildcat in um f4 f4 f-4 lovely 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 playing that japanese again so you've got these little markings at the side so you know what you're looking at japanese these are Russians and French. Then onto your helicopters. You know, I remember building, I don't remember building many helicopters in my time, but if I did, the Revel ones do look good. Look at that Cobra there, the Bell Huey Cobra. It looks phenomenal. I say it's not the model, it's most of it's in their, their box art. Then onto the 1 to 72 scale, the Avril Lancaster, the Dam Busters, you know, all bog standard really of Revel. And I don't think, you know, this is before they had the Matchbox. Uh, modes as well to go with their collection again 1 to 72 scale there's the Catalina some lovely lovely models in here some German ones there back onto the Japanese one there you go these are original in the mid 60s these most of these came out so you probably would have built them all with rigging and they're all from like World War One there you go there's the Fokker D the Fokker D7 there you go, and there's a, a mixture here of 1 to 72 scale model aircraft from World War II. Quite a nice range there. There's a 1 to 44 scale, stay away, little rubbish. 1 to 28 aircraft. Now, these look quite nice actually. I bet they, they, I think they're more like the museum quality that they used to do. There's their jets there. Doesn't say what size they are though on that one. There's your civilian airliners like your 747. Your Airbus, your Douglas DC-9, you know, look at that TriStar. That's lovely, that, isn't it, with those British Airways. Moving on, the Zany planes. I'm still trying to get hold of one. If anyone's got one for sale, leave a note. Just email me and we'll come to a deal and I'll buy one. So I just want one to have a look at because I've never owned a Zany plane to have a look at it. There's the spacecraft. Not really much in this one. You've got your Tranquility Base and your Apollo 11. Then you've got their paint range there, paints and cement. You've got your hobby guide, which is brilliant. You know, they have this on the last year's catalogue and this year's in the next year's catalogue. It's the same pictures. Onto the military and their armour. There's a German V2 rocket there. You know, what's that? Just what's it? Two halves put together, you know, and just paint it. It's not much there. The one to eight scale model cycles, bog standard there. There's the Harley Davidson. Every year you see that one there. And that and he must be must be in his 70s now, must have he that police officer. Moving through, there goes their bikes. Very, very nice. That looks like 1 to 12 scale bikes. Then you've got the drag cars, the civil boats and ships. Have I missed the page there? Yeah, they've got their funny cars, which look a bit fun to build. 1 to 25 scale. There's their boats, their naval vessels. And basically, I think we're almost done. There's their small galleons and their large galleons. And then... 
you know, go, that's basically half a ship and then you just make it and put it onto a board. You can hang it up so people can admire your handiwork. And on the back there, there's some pictures there of uh, their of their models and also some real life photo photography there as well. And there you are. There's the address there. Look at that. Potter's Bar in Herefordshire. That's where they originally were. So there you go. That was the Revel Model Kit Catalogue for 1974. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that bell. You should be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, anything in here that you've liked, anything you don't like, anything you've built, anything you wouldn't ever build again, just leave them in the comments box below and I do reply. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. So there you go. That.